are ready for our next act, and it is Sam Meach. And, and Sam is an artist um, from Huddersfield, UK. He has definitely talked to him about a deck of cards after this as well. Um, and he is, we're super excited to have him. This is going to be, I'm really, really excited about this. So, Sam, I'm going to hand it over to you. Hello, Sam. Uh, Sam, you're going to go on with that. Um, I love this. Sam. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much. I'm very, very privileged and delighted to be here sharing the stage with Bluebell, Bijou. Um, I'm really nervous as well. Uh, that's very nice. <laughs> You should be nervous. That's really funny. I just, they can turn at any time, obviously. Um, we don't mind unless you ask us nicely. I'm not really a knitter. But what I'm going to do tonight involves knitting on stage. I really hope it's going to go well. Because if it doesn't, there are a lot of knitting needles in here. And they're very shallow. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to try and do something a bit special, and it might not work. I have to be upfront with you about that. I've done it about five times before. Two of those, it worked. <laughs> um, so if it goes well tonight, that's 50-50. <laughs> but on the balance of things, I just I want to just lower your expectations <laughs> right now. I'm going to knit live on stage. Okay. That doesn't seem as impressive in front of an audience who are actually knitting. Uh, when I've done this in front of other audiences, the knitting bit has been the novel thing. I uh, now feel a little bit outnumbered. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to knit. But I'm going to knit under the watchful eyes of the audience, you lovely people. And you're going to see my adrenaline go through the roof. Because when, when you do knitting as a performance, it's, it's basically like an Olympic sport. You know, it's like, it's like cage fighting or something. It's serious. It's, it's tough. It's tough. And as I said, I'm not a good knitter. And I'm gonna, you're probably going to see this. So if anyone's out like, you know, just keep it quiet. It affects the performance. But I'm going to try and go through it step by step. But what I'm going to do, although you're on knitters and you have seen knitting before, <laughs> I'm going to bet you haven't seen this before. I'm going to knit a pattern of a horse and then I'm going to bring it to life. I'm going to make a knitted movie on this stage from scratch. And I'm going to do this all whilst DJing. I have a selection of seven inch records. All songs to do with horses. There is a theme. So I'm going to go through the process. We're going to start over here. We're going to end over here. I do want to warn you, this is dangerous. Welcome, you know, I'm glad you chose to move here, but these are the most dangerous seats. <laughs> okay. It's dangerous for me. You, you, it's evident that I could hurt myself and what is under this, this cloth. And that also involves an iron later, which is very hot. So, okay. Let's try and calm the nerves a bit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to knit Edward Moybridge's Horse in Motion, a sequence of 15 on, or 16, depending on the punch card, <coughs> horses. And I'm going to bring it to life and make the first piece of knitted cinema. I'm going to do it using this device. This is the Brother KH 836 punch card knitting machine. I know some of you are thinking that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I knit. Okay, I can't hand knit, but with this, I can kind of knit. 
So we're going to go from knitting, and then we're going to bring the, the knitting to life as an animation. And this is the pattern I'm going to use. So this is a punch card of the horse in motion as a piece of knitting. So this is a piece of cinema. Okay. So I'm going to have to rush even more than I was going to have to rush because I can feel I've taken too long. <laughs> You know when you rush, mistakes happen. You drop stitches, you stab things. Um, so let's go. Let, let's let's hitch it to the horse. Okay. Woo. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. That, that was easier than I thought. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Cross your fingers. horse punch card. 16 horses punched by hand based on Edward Moybridge's sequence of horses from 1877. I'm going to try and knit this whole punch card, 360 rows, during this single record. Does anyone think I can do it? You're all insane. <laughs> But we'll give it a try. Give it a try.
We have a knitted horse in motion. Look at the motion. It's a knitted film. Next, we're going to have to iron it because it's curled up. We can't do anything with this. So we're going to have to kill it. Not, not kill it, but you know. Um, you got water in that glass? Gin. Gin. <laughs> can't be good for the iron. Right. Tell me this is dangerous. Well, no, I mean, <laughs> don't do this at home. I don't. Okay, so we're gonna get let that get nice and hot, and uh, give you the inside view. Okay. Brought the energy down. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to bring it up now. This is where it gets dangerous. Don't want to burn ourselves like this morning. <laughs> Rehearsal is good, but not when you burn yourself. Wires all over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's go. Does it look like I don't iron much? Come on. So I once did this with lamp wool. And it just wouldn't flatten, it kept curling up. And it smelt. A lot. Pardon? Fiber content. Fiber content, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Horse hair, horse hair. Horse hair, okay, it's the horse hair, okay. I don't boo, I'm using acrylic. <laughs> It's because it, you need to flatten it, don't you? That's why. Right. I've learned. You're making animations. You've got to go on the celluloid. There we go. Mr. Ali, can we put it up for the final chorus? Make the magic happen. Thank you. 
Well, well, well uh, the uh, dismantling of the stage, I'll treat to the gem in my collection, bought on eBay, the BBC Sound Effects Centre, horses on gravel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.